I want to ask you finally about the fact that you have long identified throughout your career with the grievances of the Sikh community against the Indian government. Uh, and you supported, for example, labeling the 1984 terrible riots in Delhi uh, as a genocide of the Sikhs. Uh, some people go further than that, don't they? Do you think that some Canadian Sikhs go too far when they honor Talvinder Singh Parma as a martyr of the Sikh nation? Uh, when they put up posters of him as a shaheed, a martyr, when he was the architect of the Air India bombing. Do you think that's appropriate? Well, I think it's so important that we really clarify a misconception that exists. There has been a lot of work and seems to, to be creating a conflict that's between Hindus and, and Sikhs. And for me, that's something that really offended me. I, I grew up with a lot of close friends and dear family friends that were from the Hindu faith that told me stories of how they actually put themselves at risk to save their Sikh neighbors. And so for me, one of my goals was to erase this false narrative of a Hindu-Sikh conflict and what I really believe in. Forgive me, is, but you could do that right now by saying, no, it isn't appropriate to put up posters of Canada's worst ever mass murderer. Well, as a, as a well, let, me, let me make sure we... Do you think we, that's appropriate? Well, let me just clarify a point here. It's so important that we rid this notion that there's ever been a conflict between Hindus and Sikhs. It's never been the case. Uh, we've been living in existence as, as neighbors. Third time and, of asking. It's not a hard let me just question. Finish, I'm just Third finishing time my of sentence. asking. Is it appropriate to put uh, up... Sir, I'm just going to finish my sentence. So the, the community has lived together, coexisted in peace and harmony, and we need to celebrate that. So naming something a genocide takes the blame off of a community and puts it on the government. That's the facts. It was a government that initiated this. There's been great reports that point that out. There's been a lot of um, investigations and commissions that really clarify that it was the government, not the people. And I think that we need to make sure that we never uh, inappropriately accuse the people of doing something when it was not their fault. This is something that's always been a, a government initiative, and not the people. And so that's why I really believed in making sure it was named a genocide and not a riot. What about putting up posters of Parma, the architect of the Air India bombing, as a martyr. Is that appropriate, yes or no? So it is so unacceptable that um, the violence that was committed, the heinous massacre that was committed, is something that Sikhs, Muslims, Hindus all denounce. The violence that was perpetrated against innocent Canadian lives is something we all denounce. I regularly denounce it on the anniversary. It's something that we all collectively are opposed to. There is no question about this that innocent lives were killed, and it is completely unacceptable. It needs to be denounced as a terrorist act. So you won't denounce those posters of Palma? Uh, I don't know who was responsible, but I think we need to find out who's truly responsible. We need to make sure that the investigation actually re results in a conviction of someone who's actually responsible. And we need to, as a society, collectively, unequivocally denounce any time Innocent lives are lost. That is something unacceptable. All Canadians stand together united against any forms of violence, terror against Canadians, and in fact against anyone around the world. I have to leave it there. Thanks for taking the time. I appreciate so it, and congratulations on your win. Thank you very much. Jack Singh, the new NDP leader.